we come together today to honor our senior class of 2020. Four years ago, when the class of 2020 first entered our campus as new Spelman students, you moved into the residence halls and began to experience the time-honored traditions that brought you into the famed Spelman Sisterhood. There were years of hard work ahead as you figured out your paths. College always demands much of young minds, but for you, it has demanded even more than usual. This has been an eventful year filled with unforeseen challenges. In the middle of your final semester, the global COVID-19 pandemic sent all of our students home. You had to forego for the moment many of the cherished events that enable us to celebrate our seniors and your completion of your degree requirements. You have been called upon to adjust in ways that you and the college never imagined. The class of 2020 has risen to the occasion. You have navigated these turbulent times with perseverance determination, and grace, undaunted by the fight. Completing your degree requirements is a milestone in life. We are so proud of your accomplishments, and we look forward to celebrating with you in person when safety allows. Congratulations, Class of 2020. To the Spelman College Class of 2020, this is Dean Guidry here with a final word of blessing and love to each of you as you prepare to spread your wings and fly from within the gates of Spelman into your respective destinations throughout the world. May you forever be known as the Nevertheless They Persisted class. And may the spiritual gifts of resilience and stick to itness and bounce back um, and perseverance that each of you tapped into to get through this unexpected situation, may you know that you can forever reach to those gifts as you navigate the days that are ahead. And may God bless you, may God cover you, and may God keep you. May the same God that ordered your steps to Spelman and your steps through Spelman now order your steps from Spelman and into the world. Until we meet again, go in peace, go in power, and know that you are loved. So Spelman women, you are today at an intersection between who you have been and who you must become. So who you have been and who you must become. Full of hope and knowledge, staring down the face of a daunting challenge stronger than you've ever been, and also learning with every breath. The generation of Spelman women who came before me were all first of a kind. The first black woman to, the first black leader to, the first black judge to, the first black surgeon to, a real generation of waymakers. And my generation is one that you might call Generation P. And that P is for perseverance. We've had the job of keeping the fires that our grandmothers and our mothers fought for, lived for, die for, alive. We remember the pain our mothers and grandmothers went through to earn their places in society. We remember their stories of sit-ins at lunch counters because they lived it. And when we hear fresh stories, these recent stories, of essentially social injustice and legalized violence today, it hurts. It hurts twice as much. It hurts for the present and it hurts for the past. We've hugged and we've kissed those brave women who deserve so much more. They deserve more education when they couldn't get it. They deserve more respect and more opportunity to fulfill their own ambitions. We soaked up their words, and Generation P, we soaked up their wisdom. And we do that to this day. Generation P, 
We carry the weight, the suffering, and the trauma of the generation of women who came before within us. And yet, it's not a burden that drags you down. It's just the opposite. It allows you to fly. And in the face of daunting odds, Spellman women persevere. Hello, my Spellman sisters. I'm Tara Buckner, president of the National Alumni Association of Spelman College. NAASC is the official alumni organization that supports Spelman College through financial gifts, student recruitment, sisterhood, community service, and recognition of Spelman women. On behalf of the NAASC, I am most pleased to congratulate you on a job fabulously done. You comprise the most recent representatives of our beloved, world-renowned, highly acclaimed, and broadly celebrated Spelman College. The accomplishment positions you among a very unique group of Black women, of women, and of all people indeed. And your accomplishment you should be extremely proud of. Are you proud? I'm so proud of you. And the sisterhood is proud of you as well. Sisters, you are a movement by yourselves but we are a force when we're together. You make us better. We applaud and welcome you. So at this point, you have successfully traveled Spellman's course, and now the time is upon you to look forward, to look forward to the continuation of your journey, to look forward to your ongoing plans, to look forward to your increasing success, to look forward to your life and life's work. This pivotal moment, however, is indeed bittersweet. Letting go of the familiar and turning toward the unknown, especially in light of the COVID-19 pandemic. It can be frightening, but I want to tell you today, and I want you to remember I told you, you slay. That's right, you slay. Life in its whole is beautiful, my Spellman sisters, but it ain't easy. The many and myriad ups and downs, successes and failures, disappointments and excitements, the unfairness and the lucky breaks, the disasters and the jobs well done, the chaos and the quiet, the misinterpretation and the spot on understanding, your intentional shade and your genuine kind hearted gestures, the good and the bad, it's all waiting for you and it's unavoidable but you're ready. Approach the tumbles in life as if they were in place to ensure your shaping, faceting, and polishing so that you, like the rare and unique diamonds you are, will enhance in shine and sparkle as you continue the travel of your life's course. You slay. I hope that you continue your Spellman journey on the front lines of the NASC, women who continuously give of their minds, hearts, and hands to support beloved Spellman and pay it forward. Sisters, remember our beloved Spellman, and in your recall, believe that you have found and absorbed here all that has transformed you into the Spellman woman you are today, and you are fully prepared for all that is to come. There is absolutely nothing you can't do. Nothing. Sisters, you slay. So come on now, let's get in formation because when you came to Spelman, you made a choice to change the world. I love you and congratulations. Greetings class of 2020. I am Kendra Grissom, valedictorian of our trailblazing class. I hope you and your loved ones are safe, healthy, and in high spirits. I know that our last semester at Spelman did not go as planned. However, I am incredibly proud of all of you. Each of you managed to handle the intensity of senior year and all of life's challenges while adjusting to a new normal. You are tenacious, resilient, and powerful beyond words. Our ability to survive in the midst of a global crisis is a testament to our strength and proves that we are a mighty force. Although it is bittersweet that we're not all together partaking in commencement festivities, be assured that we will reunite 
and we will have a celebration that we rightly deserve. In the meantime, be sure to celebrate you and all of your amazing accomplishments. Stay well. Hey class of 2020, I am Jasmine McClam, your salutatorian. I cannot believe we did it. We are finally Spelman alumni. Although this is a bittersweet moment, do not forget all the sacrifices it took for us to get here. Celebrate yourself, you deserve it. For four years, we worked tirelessly to make it to May 17, 2020. We attended classes on the third floor of Giles, stayed in dorms without AC, unless you're Di Lambda, of course, survived ADW, went to Market Friday, barely survived homecoming tailgate, and found and created lifelong friendships. COVID-19 will not deter me, and it should not deter you from reveling in this moment. We are the class of perfect vision. We are forever undaunted by the fight, and we are the future of this country. Be the change agents I know you to be and take what you learn from this moment to ensure that it never happens again. We are the future and I can attest that the future is in good hands. Hi, my name is LaKayla Thompson. As senior class president, I want to congratulate you, Spelman College class of 2020, for fulfilling what you set out to do four years ago. Together, we anticipated one date. We looked forward to that entrance. We looked forward to walking across that stage. We looked forward to moving that tassel. Remain hopeful for all that is still to come. But until then, I celebrate you. I, alongside so many others, are observing your greatness, honoring your value, marking your success, and keeping in remembrance the delight that so many people take in you. Many will never know what all it takes to keep the vision perfect, but you, class of 2020, do, and you always will. For that, I say thank you. For that, I salute you. For that, I love you. Forever and until next time. Good afternoon, my Spellman sisters. Congratulations to each and every one of you and to the families and friends and communities that helped make this day possible. We are proud of you and we love you. So consider this a love letter pretending to be a graduation speech and it's for you. My dear Spellman sisters of the class of 2020, in the midst of tradition, there is something tribal about this moment, something deep and mysterious and wonderful when those of us who have been charged with telling you and showing you what you need to know can take a step back, confident that we have given you the tools you will need to be successful in the eyes of the world as great doctors and teachers and artists and governors and healers and mathematicians and mothers and sisters and friends and partners and presidents. You will be stepping out into the world as all those things and one more. You will be stepping out as free women. And in our tribe, that means something. Now we know that to some unenlightened beings, free woman is still an oxymoron. But to us, it is a term of the highest honor that our tribe only bestows on those who have shown themselves to be deeply rooted in and reflective of the best of who we are and who we will be. I speak here of tribes not bonded by blood, but by choice, by conscious presence, by claiming the space in the world only you can fill and feel and see and be as a free woman. For a Spellman graduation ceremony must also be a ritual for free women, and it is. If freedom is a song you came here singing, 
If freedom is a bell, you came here ringing because that is what free women do. We activate and enlarge the circle because we are the circle. We straighten the line because we cross the line and take the chance and dance the dance of free women, which is always a call to prayer and a call to arms, a lullaby and a love song. So now you are invited to join this ancient dance because we love you and we trust you and we have never needed you more. When we look at your determined, hopeful faces, we also see your mothers and your grandmothers and their grandmothers before them. We see your fathers and your grandfathers and their grandfathers before them. And we see ourselves making a place for you in that long line of love and family and freedom. Now it is your turn, your time to name yourself and claim yourself and see yourself and be yourself. It is time to embrace this gathering together, whether real or virtual, one last time in this very special place, this Spellman place that is dedicated to the creation of free women because that is who you are. So congratulations. Now go out there and make a name for yourself. Thank you. If you feel anything like I felt when I was sitting in your shoes, you're excited, a little bit nervous, maybe even intimidated by what lies ahead. Will you find just the right job? If you're continuing on to grad school, did you make the right choice? Will you fall in love with the right person? Will you have the exact number of children when you want them, if you want them? With all of the hopes and plans that I know you have made, no doubt, carefully crafted, will they come to fruition? I can't answer any of those questions. But I can tell you this, that through your life journey, there are going to be unexpected delights as well as disappointments. Circumstances that may lead you to change course. Some will underestimate and undervalue you. No matter how hard you work and how prepared you are, there will be people who don't see you as we all see you today. Gifted, beautiful, proud, and black. Hi, this is Lauren Spann, and I want to give a shout out to Jasmine McClam and Dominique Mosley. Do you guys remember when we thought Glee Club was a good idea for us? My name is Tatiana, and congratulations to the class of 2020. You guys did it. And I'd like to do my sister's shout out for Angelique Southern and Jamila Clark. Every memory with them has been absolutely amazing, including every debate competition, and I can't wait to keep in contact and see what they do. Congratulations. I want to shout out Princess for all of our late night runs to Waffle House, my Link sisters when I lived in Laura Spellman my junior year during my hardest semester. Shout out to you guys. The best department had the best people, of course, and that's the chemistry and biochemistry. Um, and I also want to shout out some of my closest friends, Dominique and Jasmine, for the makeup tutorials. Although it's my senior year, um, I still finally learned how to do makeup, so shout out to you guys. My top four words that I would use to describe the class of 2020 are unprecedented, remarkable, unforgettable, and pioneers. The Spelman College class of 2020 is resilient, luminous, and visionary. Class of 2020 is resilient.
When life gets complicated and messy and painful, your rock of support will come from your family, of course, but also importantly, the women in whom you have consistently invested the most precious resource, your time and your love. Solid and reliable friendships are lifelines that will help ground you, lift you to safety when the downward pull of quicksand is at its mightiest. They are not sustainable by merely checking Facebook and Twitter or using Instagram and Snapchat. I know what y'all do, as do your parents. Make the time and the effort to truly be present in the lives of your friends and select friends who want to be present in yours. And as you go out into the world, appreciate that so much of your success, both professional and personal, depends on relationships. Remember the wise words of Maya Angelou who once said, people will not remember what you said, they will not remember what you did, they will remember how you made them feel. To my ladies of the class of 2020, congratulations. This is Danielle Jones checking in from the class of 2010. That's right, the class of dimes. And I just wanted to leave you all with a couple of words of encouragement. Although this is the end of your Spelman chapter, this is only the beginning of the next steps that you worked so hard for for the last four years. But remember one thing, and you heard it here first. COVID only means that you're going to be coming out victorious in defeat. That's right, you're coming out victorious in defeat, ladies. Congratulations, the best is yet to come. Greetings, class of 2020. My name is Karen Hansberry, class of 1984, and I just wanna leave you with this. The question you should be asking yourself right now is not who's gonna let you, but who's gonna stop you. Congratulations on all of your accomplishments, my Spelman sisters. Hi, class of 2020. My name is Lauren Zayu. I'm Spelman, class of 2014. And I just want to say congratulations on graduating. This is a huge accomplishment. I welcome you all. I'm proud of you all. And congratulations on being on this side of the gates. There's nothing better than being a Spelman alumna, and I hope you enjoy it. Congrats again. Hi, class of 2020. My name is Millie Grant, class of 2011. And I just wanted to say, always remember, you are braver than you know, stronger than you seem, smarter than you think, and more love than you'll ever know. Congratulations, you did it! Those in the class of 2020 are unapologetic change makers. The class of 2020 is fun loving, full of confidence, and most importantly, resilient. Class of 2020 is accomplished, dynamic, and steadfast. Dynamic Visionary Leaders.
when we sing the line, beacons of heavenly light, we should remember that it means that Spelman women are lit. You are lit, okay? You are lit. So my charge to you is stay lit. Stay lit and light the way for yourself and for the woman beside you and the one who's coming behind you and the one whose name you don't even know. My charge to you is speak truth to power even when power is deaf. Speak truth to power even when fake truth makes the real truth false. Speak truth to power even when silence is more convenient. And every now and then, lay down your warrior woman armor. Every now and then just laugh and sing and eat good food and have fun and love one another and be there for one another. And never forget the people who brought you here. Look around this room. There are thousands of people in this room they rode buses, they took trains, they drove for hours on end, but they had to be here with you on this day, and they will always be there. And no matter how many awards you win, and you will win awards, and no matter how many important people you meet, and you'll meet lots of important people, the people in this room are your bedrock. They remind us of that African proverb, Alone, you can run fast. Together, you can run far. And if Mother Spellman has taught us nothing else, it has at least taught us that.
choice and I choose to change the world. It's my voice and I speak with pride and courage. I'll be the change I want to see. I'll scream out loud and say it's my choice and I choose to change the world. What put off for tomorrow? What I can do today? Why wait for another when I can pave the way? No matter how young or old, I hold the power of change. Whether large or small, funeral, my choice remains the same. It's my choice. It's my choice. We are women of change The shoulders that we stand upon Never yeah. received a thought or So in their honor I will live Each day better than before To show the world how it takes a choice To change ourselves and so much more It's my choice And I choose to change Hi Spelman College, my name is Nia Page and I am your 78th student government president. And my favorite memory at Spelman is induction ceremony. My freshman year, I remember sitting there as a freshman in the audience, being inducted by Imani Dixon, the SGA president then. Four years later, it was my pleasure and honor to induct the 2023 class and my little sister. It is a memory I'm gonna cherish for the rest of my life. One of my favorite Spelman memories was in freshman year, right after move-in. Um, my birthday was a few days after we first moved them to the dorms, so I didn't think I was gonna have an official celebration like I normally do, but I came back to the dorms uh, at midnight, like on my birthday, and I found that my roommate, Kaylin, had made a surprise birthday party for me, 
in the lounge of LLC One, so that really made me feel comfortable starting my Spelman experience with all these new friends. I'm repping for the transfer students. One of my favorite Spelman memories was fall 2018 NSO when we recreated the Cheetah Girls Cinderella music video together. Yes, we did. Okay, let me stop. The class of 2020 is powerful and influential. Like we can step into almost any space and leave our mark. We will be remembered. We will leave Spelman's legacy behind. But in addition to that, with everything that's going on, all the changes that we've had to make, we are also resilient. We can see that we are resilient. So the class of 2020, we the bomb. Y'all should be proud of yourselves. And in tough moments and at tough times of major challenge, I turn to reading poetry for solace. And verse helps. So when Maya Angelou says, one isn't necessarily born with courage, but one is born with potential. Without courage, we cannot practice any other virtue without consistency. We can't be kind, we can't be true, merciful, generous, or honest. And to Maya, I say, that's right. And when James Baldwin says, the world is before you, and you need not take it or leave it as it is, make it different than when you came in, I say, that is my guiding compass. And when Michelle Obama says, when they go low, we go high, I say, graduates, let's do that together. I've spent the past several months thinking about what sort of challenge do I dare my Spelman sisters upon leaving these halls, and this is it. Use your voice. Continue to drive social change. Get yourself into situations where you can encourage governments to stop spreading hatred and fear and instead spread inclusiveness and welcome. Use your STEM education to organize. You have a theater arts degree? Use your comedic or your dramatic skills to illustrate injustice and provoke conversation from the stage. Sometimes we use our voices by putting our heads down and just doing the work. I recall a time in my life when that's what I did, but never again. Sometimes we use our voices to say, we made a mistake and we're gonna correct it. And sometimes we use our voices by saying, we belong here, get used to us. Hello, class of 2020. My name is Eileen Yap Curtis. I'm from the class of 1945. As Spelman women, we can achieve anything we set our minds to. I want to encourage you to believe in yourselves, to follow your dreams, and to have faith in God. Hello, class of 2020. My name is Mrs. Rosa Kilpatrick from the class of 1970. My words of encouragement to you are to be positive and confident. I also encourage you to continue to love Spelman College because she will never stop loving you. Good luck. Hi, class of 2020. My name is Kiva Wright Berry from the class of 1979. And my words of encouragement to you are to remember what your goals and dreams have been. This cycle of time will not define you. This pandemic does not define you. You can still achieve all of your dreams and goals. I wish you all the best and look forward to hearing about the great accomplishments I know you will have. We love you. Hi, class of 2020. I'm Sister Omelika Kaumba, a proud member of the Centennial Class of 1981 and professor of African Dance at Spelman College. Congratulations on successfully completing your matriculation. I'm sure you'll use all of the lessons you've learned throughout your time here, and that 2020 will prove to be a year of clear vision and understanding. Success, safety, and wellness to you and your loved ones. I'll end my salute the way I greeted many of you upon your arrival. Peace and love. Hi, class of 2020. This is Linda Hart Patton from The Great 88. And my encouraging words for you are that you're supported. Connect with the Spelman sister. We're everywhere. Allow us to help you navigate. Welcome to the sisterhood. 
Hi, class of 2020. My name is Kim Williams and I am class of 1997. I bring you greetings from Seattle, Washington. My encouragement to you is to remain undaunted. The path forward to all of your hopes and dreams may look a little bit different in our new era, but like the women before us, I know that you will trailblaze a path to achieve all that you desire. Congratulations again on all of your accomplishments. Touch, brown and white, like I go country, grab and buy. We can go bust, eye for eye, we can lose trust. White rum, fizzy pop, where you they go, go, we they go up. Catch my vibe, let me go off, climb the trash, man, it's so tough. Class of 2020, four years ago, on the evening of August 11, 2016, over 500 of you walked into Sisters Chapel for the When and Where I Enter ceremony. It was there that you heard the words of Anna Julia Cooper who gave the ceremony its name. Anna Julia Cooper was a slave in the 19th century and transformed herself into a woman of power and consequence in the 20th. Class of 2020, she had a clear vision of what it means to be a free thinking black woman in our community, in our country, in the world. And she wrote, only the black woman can say, when and where I enter, in the quiet, undisputed dignity of my womanhood, without violence and without suing or special patronage, then and there, the whole Negro race enters with me. Coming new to Spelman, you must have felt as though that responsibility was a heavy load to place on your shoulders, yet, those are the words that heralded your arrival to Spelman College. They speak to the high expectations that greeted you from the moment you began your voyage. And as you sat in the pews of Sisters Chapel, watching the ceremony, listening to your upper class sisters describe what it meant to them to be your Spelman sister, you were probably not quite ready to bear the responsibility of the whole Negro race. But you knew in your heart that your voyage towards the person you needed to become was well underway. I remember well the year of your arrival at Spelman. It was a presidential election year. Spelman alumna and playwright, poet, novelist, and essayist Pearl Clay came to campus and challenged Spelman women to go out into the Atlanta University Center and register 1,000 new voters. On election night, we crowded into Upper Manly, believing that we were about to witness the first woman president in the history of our country. History surprised us. The next day, the entire campus was in mourning. Spelman faculty, staff, and students gathered in Upper Manly as faculty and staff grieved with you and embraced your disappointment. You learned what it meant to take strength from one another. From that strength, you learned that despite your deep disappointment, you had to move on. And move on, you did. Four years later, here we are. And once again, I watched you grieve yet another monumental loss. Out of the blue, like a hurricane, this contagion entered our lives and uprooted all of us. Nothing has been the same. You were sent away from the very place that was the soil that enabled you to grow the fierce friendships with your Spelman sisters and relationships with Spelman faculty and staff. This is where you learned what it meant to commit to the communities you serve. Here's where you became the mainstay in the lives of the students you mentored and coached. Spelman, known for its tight-knit community and close connections, overnight became a place that was distant and remote. You left the campus in mourning. However, you left very different women from the ones who sat in Sisters Chapel four years earlier. Watching all of you, I'm reminded of the words of Zora Neale Hurston, who once wrote that she was like a dark rock surged upon and overswept. She writes that when the waters ebb, she will still be standing. All of you are that rock with your steadfast devotion to what you believe. 
class of 2020. Your class is filled with women who shine a light to make a way towards change. And in this time of anxiety and uncertainty, we not only have to love ourselves, we have to care for ourselves. Audre Lorde reminds us that caring for myself is not self-indulgence, it is self-preservation. And that is an act of political warfare. So here we are, four years later. And once again, we are in a critical presidential election year with nothing less than our future at stake. If Pearl Clegg's advice was timely four years ago, it has the urgency of a 10 alarm fire now. I know that your Spelman education has prepared you to be our first responders who will rescue the future. I know because we've already seen you begin that work. We have witnessed your faith like a dark and movable rock. We have seen your desire for truth, a beacon of heavenly light on the dark night of our times. Four years ago, during the opening ceremony, I said to you that Spelman is where you will invent a black woman for the 21st century and you have already done that. Class of 2020, you are the class of vision and courage. You have shown us the power of your intellect and the resolve of your faith and your love surging undaunted. This is your time, and you are ready to seize it. Good luck, be well, and keep the faith. I want to affirm that the class of 2020 has all of the skills, talents, and abilities within us necessary to complete our goals. Always remember that you have the power to create and cultivate change. Go out into the world and become the change agent Spelman College molded us to be. We are the class of perfect vision, so set your sights on achieving the impossible. Have the courage to do what no one else can, and remember to never let anyone block your blessings because there is nothing we can't do. I just wanted to let you know that your ability to conquer challenges is limitless and your potential to succeed is infinite. Choose to radiate love, joy, and gratitude today. Life is too short to dwell on negativity. Walk in the light. We should take pride in how far we have come and have faith in how far we will all go. We are our ancestors' wildest dreams. A short affirmation I'd like to share with my sisters is that the obstacles are moving out of your path and your path is carved towards greatness. As we move through this unprecedented time in our lives, I like for all of my amazing sisters in the class of 2020 to remember that your best is yet to come.